Today's big idea is bigger than the Easter Bunny. He's seven feet tall, if you count the ears. He is goofy, does a silly rabbit dance, and carries around a carrot. But like I said, today's big idea is even bigger than that. Because today's big idea is... Jesus is alive. Uh -huh. It says here, if I place a small egg on the table and walk away, the Easter Bunny will come and trade it out for candy. Sounds unlikely, but it's worth a shot. May is gonna be so surprised when she sees her regular egg. It's a cute little bunny egg. <laughs> oh, hey, Kids Club. It's just me, T, but today I'm the Easter Buddy. <laughs> My job is to spread the news that Jesus is alive because that's the meaning of Easter. Oh yeah, and I give out free colorful eggs. It's kind of like a tradition of mine. Uh oh, May's coming, hide. Oh. Hey, what's all the commotion in here? Something going, <gasps> hey. That's not my egg. This is not my egg. Kids Club, did you all switch my eggs? If you didn't, then who did? He's right there. Huh? No, there's there's nothing back there. Nothing's there. Very funny, but I'm the only one here. You sure about that? Tea? <laughs> Hello. But I'm not just tea today. I'm the Easter Buddy. Ooh, Easter Buddy, huh? Yeah, I'm the friend who tells you about Easter. The Easter Buddy. I see. I like it. Since you're the Easter Buddy, that means you know that the true meaning of Easter is... Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. I see you know your stuff. But do you know why they call it Easter? Nope. But I do recall the real story behind the holiday. Wait, you were there? <laughs> I wish. No, I read about it in the Bible. Sometimes when I'm reading the stories in the Bible, it really feels like I'm there. Yeah, me too. The Bible has a lot of amazing stories in it, but I don't remember reading a story called Easter. Hmm, it's possible that you read it, but didn't know that it was called the story of Easter. Uh, do you know about the story of Jesus? Yeah. Okay and how he came to earth, performed miracles, showed us God's love, and then he rescued us by dying on the cross and rising again. Yeah, I know about that story too. <laughs> well, looks like my work here is done. You know the story of Easter. Bye. Uh, not so fast, buddy. <laughs> that was just a quick version. But what about the stuff that happened inside the story? That's an excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to need more eggs. How about you watch this cartoon as a refresher on who Jesus is? And later, I'll crack open the details of the story for you. <laughs> Deal. This is Jesus. Jesus is God's son. Now this might be crazy to think about, but Jesus was both totally God and totally human. He was born in a town called Bethlehem in Israel. Before most people knew he was God's son, Jesus had a job. He was a carpenter. When he turned 30, Jesus started teaching people about God and how to follow him. He also did miracles, like when he turned water into wine, or brought dead people back to life, or healed people from horrible diseases. Now, not everybody liked what Jesus was doing and what he was saying about God. In fact, some were so mad about what Jesus was doing that they wanted to kill him. And that's exactly what they did. They arrested and beat Jesus. They put him on trial, and then they killed him. But here's the amazing part. Jesus didn't stay dead. After three days of being in a tomb, Jesus came back to life. He beat death. When Jesus died on that cross and came back to life, he did something we could never do for ourselves. He took the punishment for all the sin that had ever happened and ever would happen. Jesus took the punishment for our sin and prove that he was who he said he was, God's son. So now, when we decide to follow Jesus and be like him, God forgives us because he sees us like his son, 
Jesus, perfect and loved and part of his family. So, T, what's this basket for? <laughs> you will find out in due time. I'm excited to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to teach. So, the story of Easter is centered around Jesus. Right, that's who that last video was about. Mm -hmm. Correct. Even though he was a guy, he was also God. And that makes him special. Open the first egg. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's just a piece of paper in it. Mm -hmm. Now, it may look just like a piece of paper, but open it. It's a picture of a man with the word human on it. That's it. Are you sure? Maybe. <gasps> Whoa, God. Oh, hey, I get it. This means Jesus was both human and God at the same time. Correct. Huh. Next egg. Okay. Sounds like candy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, Skittles. Oh, hey, no eating the miracles. Oh. Miracles, but they're just Skittles. Oh, no, no, no. These candies represent different miracles Jesus performed. I could only fit so many Skittles inside this egg, and that's kind of like the Bible. We only read about some of the miracles that Jesus performed, but Jesus has and is still performing countless miracles. Huh, how many? Hmm. Mm. About this many. <laughs> Plus more. I get it. A lot of miracles. Next egg. <laughs> okay. It's a piece of paper with Ooh. angry faces. <laughs> I drew those myself. Anyways, even though Jesus was performing beautiful miracles all over, there were still people who did not like that he was claiming to be the son of God. Those people were plotting to kill him. Ooh, kill him. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, I'm not liking where this is going. Oh, stay with me. Now, one of his 12 disciples, Judas, was the one who turned Jesus over to the religious leaders. I thought the disciples were his friends. They were. Then what would make him do that? Mm -hmm. The devil, greed, and <clears throat> money. 30 pieces of silver to be exact. <sighs> That's sad. At least he was the only friend to betray him, right? Ooh, well, even though it wasn't as bad as what Judas did, open the next egg. A chicken? <laughs> it's a rooster. <laughs> Jesus said his close friend Peter was going to deny him three times before the rooster crowed. But what does that mean? When Jesus was captured and on trial to be put to death, people recognized Peter as one of his followers. But Peter denied that he knew Jesus three times. Peter was afraid, but later he was ashamed of what he did. Poor Jesus. He was here doing great things and people found a way to make him out to be a criminal. On top of that, his friends were betraying him? That must be unbearable. I think you know what to do next. Next egg? Next egg. The letter T? No, it's a cross because Jesus died on the cross. Uh, have you ever seen a cross before? Yeah, I've seen them on necklaces and in front of some church buildings. Yes, that's because Jesus died on a cross. He was the one person who could save us all by dying on the cross for our sins. That's it? He's just dead and that's the end? That's not fair. He's God. He's perfect and he had to die? Oh, he didn't have to die, but he chose to die for us. But that's not the end. It's not? Nope. Oh. All right. So, we're going to take all of these things, the eggs, the paper, and we're going to put them inside of this jumbo egg. Okay. Sure thing, friend. Go get the chicken rooster. This and some miracles. All the miracles? Uh, just a few of them. Okay, yeah, we still need those. Okay. 
All the things that we talked about were pieces of Jesus's purpose on earth. Let's say that this jumbo egg is Jesus himself. Jesus had a purpose. Yes, Jesus ultimately died. But when he died, they placed him inside of a tomb. But they egg it. Okay. There we go. Now, when someone dies, they stay buried. But if you've learned anything about Easter, it's... Jesus is alive. Correct. After three days, Jesus did what God sent him to do. Let's all count to three. But we have to do it really loudly for this idea to work. All right, you ready? Ready. One, two, three. Hey, look at that. Keep looking. It's over there. Yeah, keep looking. Disappear. Uh, let's just say it was a trick. But what Jesus did was not a trick. The sunny side of the whole story is that after three days, Jesus beat death and rose again. That means Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. <laughs> this makes me so happy. Jesus loves me so much that he died for me. Exactly, and that, my friend, is the story of Easter. Fascinating. I agree. <laughs> that was a lot, but I have a video that will help make sense of everything we just talked about. Let's see it. God's story, Easter. So part of God's story is about Easter and it begins like this. You might know Easter as the Sunday a ginormous bunny hides chocolate inside plastic eggs. But Easter is really all about how much Jesus loves us and how God sent him to rescue us. Remember how the Jews, God's special family, were waiting for a king to come rescue them? Well, Jesus was the king and this rescue was the whole reason he came to earth. God had already rescued the Jews once before, but this time it was going to include everyone. So one night, Jesus told his friends about the rescue. Exciting, right? But talking about this rescue was sad. That's because Jesus was going to rescue the world by dying. Kids, every mean or bad thing we do deserves punishment. By dying, Jesus took our punishment. Lots of things in life have good parts and bad parts. And just like candy bars are mostly good, as long as you brush your teeth after you eat one, this story is a really good one. Anyway, talking about the rescue made Jesus sad since he didn't really want to die. Thankfully, we can talk to God when we're sad, so Jesus took a few friends into a garden to pray. In the garden, a guy named Judas, who people thought was Jesus' friend, came with some people to help arrest Jesus. Peter, one of Jesus' true friends, was so mad he cut off a servant's ear with his sword. But Jesus didn't want his friends to hurt others, so Jesus healed the ear and let them arrest him. Then Jesus was taken to trial. One of the most powerful men in the city, Pontius Pilate, wanted to let Jesus go. But many of the people wanted Jesus to die. They didn't believe he was the son of God or any kind of king. Even after all the miracles Jesus did, like healing sick people and making blind people see, they didn't believe in him. The people were so mad, they started yelling, kill him! So Pontius Pilate let the soldiers take Jesus. The soldiers made fun of the idea that Jesus was a king. They put a crown of thorns on his head and nailed him to a cross. Many people watched, but not all of them wanted Jesus to die. His mother and close friends were there too. Just imagine how they must have felt. Once Jesus was up on the cross, the sun stopped shining for three whole hours in the middle of the day. But those soldiers kept right on making fun of him. They said, if you're really God's son, why don't you just call in some angels to save you? Jesus could have called on angels to save him, but he loved us so much that he wanted to rescue us. So instead, he prayed to God, Father, I place my life into your hands. At that moment, Jesus died. And when he died, the soldiers who had just killed him realized he really was the Son of God. 
Later, Jesus was put into a tomb and a big rock blocked the entrance. Jesus' friends thought that was the end. But three days later, God sent an angel to roll the stone away. Don't worry, Jesus could get out on his own. The angel moved the rock so everybody else could see the tomb was empty. Jesus' friends were the first to stop by the tomb. The angel said, He has risen! Which is another way of saying, Jesus is alive! Nobody could believe it! Jesus took our punishment and then proved He really is the Son of God by coming back to life! Now, if we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives us for all the wrong things we do because Jesus already took our punishment. And that's the story of Easter. But that's not all there is. Here's a quick version of what happened after the angel told the good news. Jesus' friends got scared. Jesus appeared to them. They saw his scars. It was really him. Now they could share the good news too. Jesus appeared to more than 500 people. He went back up to heaven. And the best part? He promised to come back someday for everybody who follows him. And all that is a part of God's story. You know, T, you really are a great Easter buddy. Easter isn't about candy or eggs or bunnies. It all boils down to one thing. Jesus is alive. We celebrate Easter every year as a thank you to Jesus for his sacrifice and for rescuing us from our sins. See, I knew that it would be over easy to understand. <laughs> You're cracking me up with the egg yolks. You get it? Ah! Yolks. Yolks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at the time? Huh? It's getting kind of late. Oh. I probably should hit the trail. <laughs> I've got a lot of people to tell the story of Easter to. Oh, oh, before you go, can we take an Easter ussy? Did the chicken come before the egg? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but to answer your question, yes. Okay. Hey, perfect. That was a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us today. You can be an Easter buddy, too. Yeah, you can tell other people what you learned today about Jesus and the true meaning of Easter, which is Jesus is alive. Maybe start with the person who makes you laugh the most. That's what I did. Aw, <laughs> now I have a strange craving for brunch. Mmm, let's go get some eggs. Okay, let's see how many ways we could cook eggs in a different way. We could put Skittles in them. I want Skittles.